Hello again, my name is Brian Mounts. I run TurfMechanic.com and the Turf Mechanic YouTube channel. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about leaf blowers. Uh, blower season is typically in the fall when the leaves come down, although these things can be used very efficiently all year long. In the winter you can very easily clean uh, a dusting or even thicker layers of snow off of the ground. Uh, spring and summer you can clean your sidewalks uh, after mowing and trimming sessions. Uh, these things are not just for the fall and for leaves. Now they are called leaf blowers however for a reason. Most people use them to move the leaves around the yard so that they don't have to use a rake. And if you are considering buying a leaf blower this year, um, you are going to look at sales pages and boxes and packaging with two main prominent numbers listed on every single blower that you find. I got my lawnmower. You got your lawnmower? Yeah, I love your lawnmower. It's pretty good. The vast majority of leaf blowers I, I use battery equipment in my yard, and I'm a big proponent of them. Um, every blower out there is going to display its CFM rating and its MPH rating. So the CFM is how much air is moved. It's the cubic feet per minute of air moved. Uh, MPH is how fast that air is moving, so miles per hour. Generally speaking, the most important number of them all is the CFM. You want to move more air. Now, if you're moving air through a circle this large, the motor would have to be, you know, a monster to be able to move that air fast enough for it to make a difference in a yard. That's why blowers end up having tubes that are, what is this, about three inches wide? I'd have to measure it to find out for sure. But here at the, uh, at the motor, if I can take it off, you take the tube off, you can see the, the tube, the motor is basically just the same size as the tip, even though this is a little bit wider. This right here is what moves, in this case, this Toro 60 volt, moves 605, or it has the potential of moving 605 cubic feet of air per minute. Now, it will move it faster if this tube gets smaller. However, as it gets smaller, the speed goes up, but the cubic foot of air goes down because uh, just the physics of trying to move so much air through a small space, it's just, it's just hard. It's the same reason why with a garden hose, if you have like a 5 8 inch hose, you just can't move the same amount of water through it as you can a 3 quarter inch hose. Um, eventually, I mean, if you got the motor big enough, you could, but at some point it just becomes unwieldy and it's, it's too big. Um, if you are shopping around for, let me get that back on. If you're shopping around for a blower and you're concerned that you need the more speed, like if you need more miles per hour, you're most likely going to sacrifice a little bit of CFM and you'll probably end up getting a little bit more bulk or a little bit heavier unit because the motor itself um, is, it's gonna have to be stronger to be able to push that air faster. It's the velocity of air. Now the velocity of that air coming out is going to be important for moving larger things. So for instance, I'm sitting to you, sitting with you under an apple tree. Uh, it is July 31st and I'm already starting to drop a handful of like dud apples off the ground. Now I could just come and pick these things up by hand or rake them with a rake, but aside from the, the leaves, if the leaves fall down, I can blow the leaves around with pretty much any blower. But if I want to move the apples around, I need a large uh, velocity of that air to actually move the apples because they weigh more. Now, in the fall, when the leaves come down and let's say it rains, everything's wet, then those leaves are also gonna be harder to move 
and you will need a, uh, a faster wind speed to move them around. So that's why most modern nice blowers come with a normal speed and they come with a turbo speed. The turbo speed grabs more juice out of the motor so that it will blow the air faster. And this is what brings the CFM and the miles per hour all the way to the top. Now, as you make that motor work harder to blow the air faster, it's going to deplete the battery faster in this case, um, or it's going to burn more fuel if you're using a gas powered one or just simply use more uh, just more energy to do it. I just wanted to talk to you though today about the importance of CFM versus miles per hour. They're both important. Miles per hour is important for moving heavier things and wet things really. Stuff that's stuck to the ground. Let's say it's like the end of winter and you never clean the yard up. Things are going to be stuck. You're going to need more speed. But the thing is, as you get more speed, it's just going to take longer to do everything because you're trying to unstick things from the ground. You're trying to move heavier objects and it's going to just take longer. Um, some of these blowers are able to have an interchangeable tube. So if you take this off and put on a different tube that has a more narrow tip, that will help with directing um, the air specifically at one tiny little spot um, that will basically maximize the wind speed. Uh, you'll have less CFM uh, because of the narrowing of the tube, uh, but that can be helpful in some situations. Most of the time, you want a large CFM just to move a whole bunch of dry things that are easy to move. Um, lots of leaves on the ground that just dropped today or yesterday are going to move really easily on low speeds um, with high CFM. And that's the most normal situation that you're going to use a blower in. Cleaning up a sidewalk with from like dust or uh, grass clippings. You don't need a ton of wind velocity. You need a wide swath of air to move everything. So as you shop, make sure to look at the CFM number first, and then take a look at the MPH rating for those special situations that you're only gonna run into every now and then. Thank you for watching, please subscribe. This is the Toro 60 volt battery blower. I like this a lot. It just feels good, but I'm going to be comparing this to a number of the other battery blowers out there, and I hope you'll follow along so that you know what to expect while shopping. Thanks.